let's talk about V cut dodges and split dodges and really dive into the variations in these moves and the importance of understanding the angles that are involved. We're going to go over a lot of variations of the V cut and the split dodge. While 85% of MLL and NCA Division I dodgers use their inside out angles for their V-cut dodges and their V-cut splits. There are some other really effective and interesting split dodges out there as well, such as early move, swims, under splits, and using pass fakes to set up split dodges. And lastly, we will talk a little bit about how to use your stick to create jab steps within the scope of your V-cut and your split dodges. So let's dive into the film. Let's take a look at the inside out V-cut. As I mentioned, here's a right-handed player running towards his left and violently sticking his left foot in the ground to set up his strong hand. This is as fundamental as it gets. Every single player needs to know how to get their strong hand. And this is the easiest way to set up your strong hand. The reason why this is called the inside out V-cut is because the player is running towards the left with his stick in his right hand and therefore to the inside of his defender. And the reason why we want to do this is so that when we want to cut back across the body of the defender that we don't have to switch hands. Do you see how closely Ocello was able to get to his man? It's almost like He's using his man like a pick. It's almost like he's running off his man as if his man was a pick, like shoulder to shoulder. This is an angle that is devastating and deadly. And you're going to see players doing this all over the field, from the wrong side alley here to behind here with a little jump stop, running towards the weak hand, sticking your foot in the ground, and going back to your strong hand. There is nothing more fundamental than this. You can use, do this from the wings, you can do it against poles, you can do it with speed, you can do it with jump stops. I love this example of the V-cut split dodge by Justin Gutterding. Let's take a look. First, he's angling towards the right and selling right as he's sticking his right foot in the ground. He's running off his man at an angle that is right through the guy's right hand on his top of his stick. And he's protecting his stick with what I call a stick back position. So right on contact, his left arm is going back. And he's powering right through this kid's body and stick. And it puts him in an amazing position to be able to get his strong hand. I love this technique. OK, let's talk a little bit now about the inside out V cut split dodge. What this means is we're using our V cut or inside out angle to set up our split dodge. So let's take a look. What's amazing about this move is that because the defender is sitting on his left hand, he's literally past his man when he's making his move. And you will draw a slide at will when that happens. Ned Karate is a lefty. The defender knows he's a lefty. As he's running, the defender's taking away his top side and therefore is giving him his right hand. Karate's using his V-cut, his inside-out angle, to hold the defender in that position so that he's literally running past his man before he even makes the move. He gets such a big step because of the angle that he's taking, because Karate keeps the stick in his left hand, he holds the defender in that position, and he's able to easily split to his right and get enough of a step to score. Similar angle out top, hands free to score. Your inside out angle, here's Crotty again, your inside out angle holds the defender on your strong hands and allows you to get an incredible step on your man while they try to be disciplined on not giving you either top side or your strong hand. Now, I talked a little bit about using jump stops and using speed with some of the examples 
But when you're coming from behind the net against poles, Rob Pinnell's the master of this. You want to use speed running at your man. It's a lot harder to beat a pole coming at him slowly. So therefore, running really hard and using your speed is going to be advantageous as you're coming against poles from behind. And Rob Pinnell really is the best example of how you do that. So you can split dodge to your left by starting off running to your right. But if you're going to make outside-in split dodges, certain things have to happen. For example, make your break a little bit earlier. Here, Kyle Harrison's making his move out well outside of the length of the stick and then cuts back well outside of the length of a stick. So you can use those angles, but you have to make your moves earlier. Here, you're going to see Mikey Schlosser making a right to left split dodge outside in angles but he's making his move early enough that he's not going to get checked when he's switching hands. And he's got enough speed to be able to make the play. Now let's talk about why this angle can be good. Well, because if you want your right hand and you're, and you're really strong righty, you might be able to just run right by this guy and turn the corner to your right hand. So you might be able to hold him on your right hand and be able to make your split. The other thing that you can do when you're utilizing outside in angles is swim over the top of a stick. Another thing you can do when you use outside in angles is you can use swim moves or under splits. Your Paul Rabel uses a swim move to get his stick through. Here you're going to see an outside in move with a little under split. You see how Miles Jones splits and literally drags, it's, it's kind of like a little uh, toe drag in some ways, but he's using his left hand on his stick to go underneath the pole, which gives him an ability to turn the guy's hips. Here, Rabel again with a little swim move. He loves that move, and it allows him to get a little closer to his man. Here, you're going to see Paul Rabel use an under split to go past the pole. So you got your swim move and your under split when you want to use your outside in angles. The other thing you can do when you want to use outside in angles is fake a pass. And this is super effective. So let's watch Eric Law here run to his right, fake a pass up the field and cut back against the grain. Anytime you start running and faking a pass, you're going to get a, the player's stick to move. And it gives you, it opens up opportunities for you to get a step on your man. As a lefty attackman, I used to make a living on this, running to my left, making it looking like I was just going to throw it up to a midi, get their stick up in the air, and then getting underneath them. The other thing is I loved doing this as a lefty when there was a right-handed player on me because I could dodge their bottom hand. And then once I got past their bottom hand, they were in trouble. So the fake and split works incredibly well, especially with teams that are trying to take away your top side. The last thing I want to go over is how to use your stick to create jab steps. When you think of jab steps, of course, you're thinking of using your feet and jabbing and buzzing your feet. But you can use your stick during the course of your split dodge. And let's look at a couple examples of this. Pretty interesting. Paul Rabel's great at it. So here you're going to see him cradle aggressively towards the left twice, using his V-cut, inside-out V-cut angles to hold his man on the potential of his split dodge to the top side. It gives him enough of a step that he can go down the alley and have his hands free to shoot. Watch how Rabel takes a perfect inside-out angle to set up his V-cut split. Watch how he's jabbing with his feet left, right, left, but he's also jabbing with his cradle, left, right, left. Look where he's making his break on his move. He's almost by his guy. His right foot is almost even with his defender's left foot. This is the advantage of the inside-out split dodge. 
So learn these angles, learn these moves, and see your dodging go through the roof.